I am always searching for new ideas for the show. As the senior citizen that I am, I turned to Facebook and asked the nice folks over there what other kind of bad gear they would like to see and hear. It blew my mind how I could not think of this piece of audio equipment. Welcome to Bad Gear, the show about the world's most hated audio tools. Today we are going to talk about the BBE Sonic Maximizer. It was released in the 80s and I would say it totally reflects the more is better attitude of that era. Used Sonic Maximizers of all sorts are affordable in other parts of the world but tend to be more expensive where I live. Fortunately, you can buy one of the current Firetruck Red models at many stores. I got a brand new 482i with jacks and RCA connectors. At the first glance, the unit looks like you could easily operate it after going on a 24 hours non-stop bender, which is something I would of course not recommend doing. It has one knob for bass and treble on every channel, a bypass and a power switch, that's all. I have no idea what's going on inside a sonic maximizer. Obviously, it tries to maximize the sonic qualities of an audio signal by introducing some kind of phase shift. So, why are there so many people who hate the Sonic Maximizer like it has opened a nightclub right under their bedrooms? We have already heard the Sonic Maximizer inflating the drum bus in our little intro tune. To test the unit on a kick and snare drum, I downloaded some acoustic drum loops. Back in the 80s, a lot of guitar and bass players added sonic maximizers to their rigs to give their sound some extra edge and chest hair. Some still use them up to the present day. Together with Martin Sorat, a great guitar player from the Czech Republic, I wrote a little piece for a low hanging rock guitar. The Sonic Maximizer did not convince me in this application. The results were either subtle or very artificial sounding. Speaking of artificial sounding music, according to experts, computers are the next big thing in music production. Let's hear the unit as the only piece of outboard gear in this techno jam. There are a lot of musical genres that are more fun when you can really feel the air moving. Reggae and dub in all variations are among them. I wanna know if the Sonic Maximizer can add some real boof. Together with one of the great broadcast king puppets from the US, I wrote a tune about the unifying power of bass. Verdict. 
The BBE Sonic Maximizer is a bit like plastic surgery. You really have to be into it to enjoy it, but after 3 a.m. in a club, no one cares. The relentless boost of highs and lows made me want to exploit the generous return policy of a big European music store. Yet I totally enjoyed the nice early morning chats that I had with my neighbors after they couldn't sleep a week. As the old school techno head that I pretend to be, I would recommend using the Sonic Maximizer as a master effect for all kinds of electronic music. Thanks for watching, see you next time. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment what other kind of bad gear you would like to see and hear.